crowds have descended on Ashton Gate this evening for tonight's titanic clash between Bristol and Worcester. It's playoff final time and a place in the Aviva Premiership is at stake. The top two go head to head over 160 nail biting minutes of rugby. Who will come out on top? Let's find out. Thank you, Georgia. Andy Robinson has kept faith in the majority of the players that secured a semi final win, although the director of rugby does make three changes. There's a place for Matthew Morgan, the Championship Player of the Year. He's back in the side and links up with skipper Dwayne Peel. Chris Brooker is back in the front row after Ross McMillan missed out with a pectoral injury. Mitch Eady also comes back into the pack. On the bench, Max Crumpton is listed among the 22-man squad, while Marco Mama is fully fit and also included. The crowd falls silent. And Henson slots the first points of the evening. Three points for Bristol. Six man. Six Big man. defensive effort needed here then from Bristol. Worcester's previous drive looked pretty sharp. Bristol attack it early. And try and stem the push from Worcester. It's fairly static. Once. But Worcester peel around the side. Surely they're going to cross here. They're over the line, and Wayne Barnes holds an arm aloft. Worcester have got the first try of the night. A previous driving ball looked pretty sharp. Bristol attacked it early, pushed hard to start with, but Worcester were just too powerful. And Sam Betty dropped on the floor to grab Worcester's first points of the night, the first try of the night. Outside to Amesbury. Amesbury just about makes it through the first tackle but he's brought down by the second Bristol with their tails up here Lamb keeps the ball in hand and he's brought to the ground Worcester taking a while to roll away Henson flat ball to Edie Edie for the line Edie's got Bristol's first try a wonderfully flat pass from Gavin Henson to put Mitch Edie through Matthew Morgan making that initial break going from his own half and Getting Bristol's momentum going. And Gavin Henson puts Mitch Eady through for Bristol's first try to put the home side back in the lead. Boys. Worcester with an opportunity then to get one back Seven. in the scrum. Cortez is Simbin. Peronisi comes on and Maul joins on the flank. Worcester are powering towards the Bristol line and the referee runs underneath the post to award the penalty try Wayne Barnes had seen enough there Worcester had the upper hand in the scrum powered towards the Bristol line and that was enough for Wayne Barnes to run under the post and award the penalty try put Worcester level and surely back in front with Ryan Lamb's conversion oh, but it's gone forwards and Biggs has picked it up trying to play the advantage Morgan's got a big tackle to make helped out by Amesbury though so Worcester back in possession, just inside their own half. It goes wide. There's a lot of space out here. Cooper Vuna is waiting for the ball. Lemmy. Cooper Vuna for the corner. And Worcester get that try they tried so desperately for in the opposite corner. Wayne Barnes, though, has decided to check if Cooper Vuna had a foot in touch. It's going to go to the TMO. Let's take another look. Barnes is nodding. And the try is awarded. And Worcester push their lead forward by five. A difficult conversion to come from Lamb. To trainer. Morgan to Edie. Edie keeps going. Three tackles missed, four tackles missed, gets the offload away. Lemmy is going to go into the corner here and grabs a beautiful, beautiful try for Bristol. Mitch Eady instrumental in that one, breaking three tackles on his way and a wonderful offload. Chris Brooker on his return to the first 15 feeds Lemmy on the wing and Bristol are right back in this game. Worcester decide to bring the ball out to midfield through Thomas. 
Brasilia to Lamb. Lamb to Biggs, winning a wonderful line. A superb line being run by Tom Biggs to get that try for Worcester. They kept the ball tied in on the far side of the field. Once they pulled it out, it worked its way across field very quickly. Brasilia to Lamb. And then Biggs running a great line to put Worcester back in front as we look towards half-time. And the cheers from the Atio stand confirm Gavin Henson has slotted that penalty. Bristol now just two points behind Worcester. Worcester get the ball in and Bristol shove really hard. Pick up off the back from Edie, looking for an offload. Set Mama backs him up. Quick ball needed here for Bristol. Perinisi, advantage coming. He awaits the pass off. Robinson cross field. It's a free play. Loose ball and Lemmy picks it up and dives over the line. And Wayne Barnes uh, is going to have a look from with uh, a TMO. Try yes or no, All eyes in the stadium on Wayne Barnes currently who lifts his hand in the air and awards Bristol the try. David Lemmy sensed an opportunity and dived over the line. It was a free play for Bristol. Nicky Robinson hacked the ball cross field. It bounced loose and Lemmy capitalised on it. Robinson's kick is good. And Bristol now have a six point lead. Discipline key here. They go on their own. Pick and go off the back of the ruck. There's a pod forming on this near side, but the try's already been scored. Wayne Barnes lifts his arm in the air, and Worcester have managed to grab a try just to the left of the uprights here. And this score would push them one point further going into the second leg. Lamb's conversion is good. And Warriors will take a one-point lead into the second leg of the final at six ways. So Worcester go into the second leg with a one-point advantage and to see all the post-match reaction from tonight's game, click here. Thousands of Bristolians will be making the trip up to six ways to see if Bristol can turn around the deficit and realise our top flight ambitions.